okay welcome to this uh, video in this video we're going to solve a coding interview question find all numbers disappeared in an array here's the problem statement you're given an array of integers where one less than equals to a i less than equals to n where n equals to size of array in the input array some elements appear twice and others appear once we have to find the elements that do not appear in this array and we have to solve this problem in constant space complexity and in linear time complexity okay if you are given this particular array here we see the length of this array is 5 so the maximum integer we can have in this array 5 and the minimum integer we can have that is 1 so here we see 1 2 4 we are missing here 3 and 5 in the range of 1 to 5 okay so in this case we have to return 3 and 5 if you're given this particular array the length of this array is 8 so we can have here minimum element 1 and maximum element Eight. Now we have to find the missing element in between 1 and 8. Here we see we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't have 5, right? So 5 and 6. Okay. So in this array we see that we are missing two element 5 and 6. So we have to return this two element. Now how we can find missing element or the element that disappeared in constant space complexity and in linear time complexity all right now let me go through intuition to this problem for sake of understanding let's assume this is our given array first we're going to iterate through this array from left to right here the first element we have one one minus one is zero at zero index we're going to multiply the element by minus one so this element 1 will be minus 1 now we see that at 0 index we have value minus 1 what does this mean actually it means that if we add 1 to this index 0 then it will be 0 plus 1 equals to 1 right this means that we have an element in this array and that is 1 then next element we have here 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 okay then we're going to multiply this element 2 by minus 1. What does this mean? We have here minus 2 at index 1. It means that we have an element in this array and that element we can get by adding 1 to the index. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. Then next element we have 2, right? If we subtract 1 from this 2, we get 1, right? At index 1, we see minus 2. If we found minus 2, that means it already exists okay so now we don't have to multiply this element by minus one right we already have minus two in this array then the next element we have here four so four minus one is three right at three index we have this value four so let's multiply this value by minus one okay then we have here one so 1 minus 1 is 0 so at 0th index we have minus 1 so we don't need to multiply this element by minus 1 and the formula is that if we found an element at a particular index is negative then we don't have to multiply that element by minus 1 if we have found positive value then we're going to multiply that element by minus one okay don't worry if you don't understand it in this case we are left with two positive integer here that means we are left with two integers in this array and that integer we can get by adding one to the index how we have positive integer so here we have two so two plus one is three right and here we have four so four plus one is five okay so we see that 3 and 5 disappeared in this array and that's how we can find the disappeared element in an array okay don't worry if you don't get it now let me walk through for another array okay 
if you're given this particular array let's find out disappeared element here so here we have element 4 right and we need to somehow mark in this array that this element exists for that we're going to subtract one from this element 4 all right in this array the maximum integer we could have is 8 right so if we subtract one from this 8 then we will have an index in this array right will not go beyond the index in this array okay so here we have four right so four minus one is three at three index we have a positive value so we're going to multiply this value by minus one so it will be minus seven here minus seven is a negative integer when you have a negative integer that means we have a value in this array and that value we can get by adding one to the index so here we have three so three plus one is four and that you found here right then the next element we have here three so three minus one is two at two index we have positive value so let's make it negative then here we have minus two so when you have minus two then we're going to get the absolute value the absolute value of minus two is two so two minus one is one at zero index we have positive value so let's make it negative so what does this mean it means that we have a value in this array and that is the index plus one so here index one plus one two so that is two right for the next value we have minus seven now absolute value of minus seven is seven so seven minus one is six so at six index we have positive integer so let's make it negative so this negative integers means that we have a value in this array and the value is index plus one so six plus one seven so we have a value here okay then we have integer eight so eight minus one is seven at seven index we have value one so let's make it negative when you have a negative value at a particular index that means we have a value in that array the index plus one so seven plus one and that is eight then we have two right so two minus one is one so at one index we have negative value so we will not multiply this element by minus 1 because we have a value already at index 1 and the value in this array is minus 2 right so we will not do that then we have minus 3 so absolute value of minus 3 is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 at 2 index we have negative value so we will not multiply this element by minus 1 then we have minus 1 the absolute value of minus 1 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so at 0 index we have positive value let's make it negative by multiplying it with minus 1 and this means that we have a value in this array and that is the index plus 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so we see that it exists here okay now we're left with two positive integer what does this mean it means that we have disappeared two elements in this array and that is the index plus one for the positive integer so four plus one is five and here we have five so five plus one is six and this is our result array and that's we need to return okay and this is how we can solve this problem now let me show you the pseudo code to this problem first we're going to declare a function find underscore disappeared underscore numbers that takes an array as input right for example we have this given array then we're going to declare a new list and the list will contain our answer then we're going to run a loop from left to right then n equals to avs of nums i so for first iteration it points to this value one so absolute value for one is one one minus one is zero so at zero index we have positive value so we're going to make it negative by multiplying it with minus one for next iteration we have two so two minus one is one so at one index we have positive value so let's make it negative for next iteration we see that two so two minus one is one and at one index we have a negative value so this code will not apply here then for next iteration we have four so four minus one is three so at three index we have a positive value now let's make it negative by multiplying it with minus one then for the next iteration we have here one right so one minus one is zero and at zeroth index we have negative value so this line will not applied here okay so we're done with this for loop 
Now let's find out the disappeared integer. Here we have two positive integer, right? And that means we have two disappeared elements in this array. And we can get them by adding one to the index of positive integer. Okay. And in this case, 2 plus 1 is 3 and here 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is the for loop actually doing that. For first iteration, we have minus 1. So this will not run. Then for next iteration, we have minus 1. Then we have 2. So that is positive, right? So let's add here 2 plus 1 and that is 3. Okay. Then for next iteration, we have minus 4. So this if condition is not true. Then we have for the next iteration 1. That is greater than 0. In this case, 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is our answer list, right? And here we are done with this for loop. So this is our answer list. And that we need to return to the function call okay and that's how we can solve this problem the solution will takes bigger up to n time complexity because we're iterating this array twice and that's equivalent to bigger of n and it takes constant space complexity hope this concept was clear if you have any question if you have any suggestion let us know thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video.